Hey guys, so I just got back from a week in Portland, Oregon, like literally just got back last night and so I thought I would do another what did I pack video so you can see what I packed and how I packed. Um, I will say that this trip was maybe a little more challenging to pack for because we were getting all kinds of weather forecast for our time in Portland. So Portland is known for being kind of a rainy climate but generally temperate. We had cold weather, rainy weather at the beginning of our trip and then by the end it was really really warm and sunny so we needed a little bit of everything and I think the key to my outfits was layering and I'll show you some of the items that I brought for that. So usually when I travel I'll bring my one main duffel bag suitcase and then I'll bring like a large purse. Something I did different this time was I brought my duffel bag, I packed my purse in here and then as my second bag on the plane I brought this bag from 31 one which um, is unfortunately retired but the cool thing about this bag is it's a tote bag and it fits perfectly under the airplane seat as well but it also has backpack straps so you can wear it as a backpack which is great for traveling and you still got your hands to carry your bigger suitcase so in this smaller bag uh, I put the things that I wanted to have on the plane and my toiletries, uh, anything basically just in case so if I did have to gate check my big bag I would still have with me. So um, I had my liquid toiletries and I'm not going to go through everything in here but this is what I use when I travel with liquids, my clear uh, plastic zipper case here. And then I have my purse organizer, which you have seen probably in other videos about purses. This is normally what goes in my purse, but I was able to put the whole thing in here and have access to it. And then when I was ready to switch to a purse when we were in town, I just took this whole thing out and put it in my bag. And then I have this um, other cosmetics case. You had seen this before in a different video. So this is where I put all of my non-liquid cosmetics. So my brushes and little skinny things can go in these loops at the top and I had my medication and all of my dry cosmetics in here. Um, and then I was also able to fit inside there since I didn't have any liquids in that. Uh, this is my little jewelry case. And again, for jewelry, I did kind of a mix and match. So I kept to a color scheme of black, gray, blue, and turquoise, uh, and all silver jewelry. So I actually pretty much just ended up wearing different earrings every day. I did have a couple necklaces and I wore one of them once when we went out for a little bit nicer dinner. But in general, Portland's kind of a casual town and especially with being in and out of the rain and stuff, I didn't want to be messing with a lot of stuff like that. Um, then I just have my couple of magazines that I had brought from on the plane. And this is my little pouch with my cell phone cables and battery charger. So that's pretty much it. Oh, my little tiny umbrella. And I know Portlanders do not use umbrellas and um, we really didn't want to use umbrellas. There was one day, the first day we were there was like a crazy downpour, sleet. Even the native Portlanders were a little taken by surprise. So I did use this umbrella that day, but other than that, I didn't carry an umbrella while we were around town. Um, and that's pretty much it. Everything else that's in here now is just brochures and things that I had brought back with me. So this was my small bag. So my bigger duffel bag, also from 31, and this actually was not the original bag I was going to take with me. I had a little smaller rolling suitcase that I was going to bring, and it ended up being just a teeny bit too small. And also I do like a fabric duffel bag because you can kind of squish and squeeze it. So if there's like a weird amount of room left in the overhead bins, you can still usually squeeze these in, and you can fit a ton in these. So actually in the exterior pocket, I used this to hold my, uh, windbreaker raincoat. Um, so this is what I used as a top layer on those rainy wet days and this was perfect because then you could layer other different things underneath sweaters and different cardigans and things and it this just kind of went over top of everything. This is from Eddie Bauer. Another neat thing about this uh, duffel bag which I didn't take advantage of is it has a shoe pocket on the end so you can actually put your shoes in here to kind of keep them separate from the rest of your luggage. I didn't do that because it also takes away from the inside of the bag. So I'll show you how I packed my shoes. So I actually had three pairs of shoes with me. Um, I had a pair of flats right here, which I didn't wear too much. I did wear them out those couple times that we went to a little bit nicer dinner and we didn't have very far to walk. I had a pair of black Chuck Taylors, black on black, which are in the, the other room. I wore those pretty much any time that it wasn't raining, so any dry day. 
And then the other pair of shoes, which I got specifically for this trip, these are from Cougar, and they are actually waterproof shoes. So they look kind of like a pair of Keds. They're just black, and they're actually really cute, even if you wear them with skinny pants, look like normal shoes, but they were very waterproof. Um, they have a good thick sole, a nice tread, so these were definitely a good investment. Then for purses, I brought this smaller bag for, again, those couple times that we went out for a nicer meal or if we were just running down somewhere quick and I didn't want to bring my whole big bag with me. Um, and then the bag that I carried most of the time, this was from Paxi. So I actually had a different purse that I was going to carry and I ended up bringing this one because it's a little bit more waterproof. But the nice thing with Paxi is they have a lot of different security features in the bags as well. So for example, the zipper, you can kind of clip it shut to a little clip that's here on the strap um, just so people can't easily unzip it. You can actually unhook this whole strap and like wrap it around the back of your chair and so nobody can take it off your chair. Uh, the bag itself and the strap have materials in them so people can't just slash it. So it's really, really safe bag. And I also like because it generally just looks like a nice black purse. Uh, it doesn't stick out like a hiking bag or like especially touristy looking. It's a really good size to hold everything I wanted. The main deciding factor was that I could shorten the strap and wear it kind of more like a messenger bag up on my back in case we decided to go uh, on a bike tour or use bikes for something, which we ended up not doing, although Portland is like a very bike heavy city if you weren't aware. Um, and then there's a lot of nice pockets inside too, I won't go through them, but it's really easy to keep organized with this bag and like I said, very waterproof and safe. So that was what I carried for most of the time. And then I have my hair straightening iron, my pajamas, those will go in the laundry. I had a pair of flip flops just to wear around the hotel room. Then the majority of my things I had in three different packing cubes. So I have talked about my love of packing cubes before. Oh, this is an extra bag I brought just in case I needed to separate something out and a, another charger for my camera. So that's it for this big bag. So packing cubes I've talked about before, I organized my things in three cubes. So this one was for all of my outer kind of layers. I had some knit sweaters. I had a hoodie that served me very well. I brought a couple of different scarves and I brought um, a couple of these kind of flowy uh, jersey cardigans. I had this one, then I also had a black one, but I wore that home last night, so it's in another room. So that was my kind of outer layers. This one was for my underclothes, so socks and underwear, and um, I've shown you these before. They're, they have two sides. So one side was for all the clean clothes, so these were my last couple of things that I didn't wear. And then as they got dirtied, you put them in this other side. It takes up the same amount of space because there's like a membrane between the two halves that kind of adjusts. So as you put things in this side, it takes away from the other side. And then that separation also keeps your clean clothes separate from your dirty clothes. So in the final cube, um, I actually already filmed this, but my camera died. So I will show you again. Uh, this was for my tops and pants. So I had a long sleeve sweater and a long sleeve shirt, which I ended up not wearing the long sleeves because I stuck more with wearing short sleeves and then layering over them with the sweaters and scarves and things. Here's a um, little bit of an embellished tank top. Um, this, again, I just wore one of those times that we went out for a little bit nicer meal. And then the rest of my tops were all short sleeve tops. And then I had three pairs of pants with me. So I had uh, a regular pair of jeans, and then I had two pairs of Uniqlo legging pants. I had one in black and one in dark denim. That's on my dirty side. And I also had one pair of black leggings, which I just wore on the very last day when it was the very warmest. These Uniqlo legging pants are great because it feels like you're wearing leggings, but it looks like you're wearing pants. So you can dress them up or down very easily. So I'm just gonna take out the other pieces on the dirty side. Here's my hair drying towel. But just to show you, kind of the mix and match of colors. So I had a bright blue top, here's my denim legging pants, and another blue and a black top. So um, for the most part I would re-wear things, but these couple I just felt really cruddy after, so I didn't want to re-wear those. 
So in general, uh, again, I stuck with that color scheme of black, gray, turquoise, and bright blue, and everything could be kind of mixed and matched with each other. I hope you found that helpful. I obviously have a bunch of laundry to do, and I need to stock up on food now that we're back home. So I hope you enjoyed this, and if you like this sort of thing, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Thanks.